We're up to about 3,300 kids that we serve every year in our community. You know, we started out with a fairly young organization. It started out in 2001, and we built our first club in 2003. We're up to six clubs already now in 2013. The mission of the Boys and Girls Club is to enhance the lives of young people and their family through academic success, healthy lifestyles, as well as building leadership and citizenship and character. Young people, let's say, come before school, they come at noon hour, as well as they come after school. As well as we have a lot of very specialized type programs. You'll see a computer room, all set up with the same software that the schools have. We have a very significant music program, thanks to the Carpenters, uh, Richard and Mary Carpenter. Uh, so we have sports type programs, cooking classes and healthy lifestyles. We have glee clubs, we have dance groups, uh, kids have a chance to perform. So a lot of specialized programs that kids find of, of interest and that can enhance their skills, as well as very strong STEM programs, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math, which are very important to the young people. I've been going to the Boys and Girls Club since fourth grade. I usually hang out with my friends or I'm in like drama, torch club. Drama is my favorite activity because it's fun. We rehearse lines and we get a part and then we perform it after and it's fun. I've been going to the Boys and Girls Club since I was in sixth grade. Well, they have an art room, which I really like because if I don't have homework or I just really want to do art, I go in there and usually I sketch something or paint something and it's really fun. And then they have Glee Club where I get to sing. I've only done one production for it, but I was the main solo and it was really fun and exciting. The Boys and Girls Club helped me personally because I am a single mom and it can be really challenging so I also work full time. So I'm able to drop them off in the morning before I go to my office in Westlake and then I work all day and then if I have to stay later to com complete something before the end of the day, I know that they're safe, I know where they are, so I don't even have to consider that while I'm working during the day. Truly, our kids are not the kids that are out there committing crimes, the drugs, the alcohol type problems that we have. Uh, I truly believe strongly, and, and there's studies that back me up, as well as talking to people like, like Sheriff Dean, that we are accomplishing those kind of things, of building, building that citizenship, helping to reduce crime. You know, I think, I think there's a sense of the people that believe that these young people are our future, like I do, you know, kind of get it. And what I always want to have a, as a volunteer or a donor, come to our clubs, see it in action, see the kids you know, participating in programs, see the kids having, having fun. Once school is over, we usually go to Boys and Girls Club and you have about half an hour to like put your stuff away and grab something to eat. And then you have an hour worth, like where we call it power hour and you do your homework there. When I'm on homework or if I need help, the staff members are always there and they usually know how to do it and so it's helped. The Boys and Girls Club has benefited me because my grades weren't so great in elementary school and then once I started going to the Boys and Girls Club and really focusing on homework and things that were important to me, then my grades have been rising up, up from an F to an A. I don't think I'd be the same person without the Boys and Girls Club because I wasn't able to sing in front of people. Once I got into the singing activities there, then I can pretty much sing in front of people, but I was so afraid before. I think if we didn't have the Boys and Girls Club in our community, the girls, I know from my, from my girls, they would miss out on so many fantastic activities and so many fantastic opportunities to express the things that mean the most to them through music, through art. Um, they've made some great friendships and there's some fantastic staff members there and they would have missed all of that wonderful opportunity to grow and to learn and enjoy the things that they enjoy the most once homework's done. <laughs>